All right, I'm gonna check on the internet connection. Hold on, if you're there, just be patient. I wanna see if I am going live. Um, oh yes, it's live. Very, very good. Very, very good. All right, so let me go back to, um, let me see. Is what I want. Okay. Hello, precious people. I'm Jacqueline Parks, and today we're going to be painting a mama giraffe and a baby giraffe together. And this has been something that I've been meaning to do, so hopefully it will turn out today. I've been praying about it, and hopefully God will use my hands and guide me in this painting process. Hey, Christy, good morning. Good to see you. Well, see your name. And um, so I know you are super excited to um, watch me paint a giraffe. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. I did a sketch of it like literally 10 minutes ago. Um, I tried doing my live and I know it's five minutes late right now, but at 10 o'clock I tried and it was saying no connection. And I'm like, what? So anyways, I was a little freaked out at that, but then God helped. <laughs> uh, so now let's see what we got here. So if you can see, this is the rough sketch drawing of the two drafts. So basically, um, let me see if I can figure out a, a photo. Let me see if it's on my computer so I'm gonna have to find it oh, I love the hearts thank you for the hearts um whoops there we go sometimes I'm clicking 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 you know what I think happened is that I was not really connected um, to my Wi-Fi with my computer and so it took a minute hey who is DD Thank you for saying hello, beautiful. Um, tell me where you're from in the chat. I know where you are from, Christy, because you're like one of my besties. Um, hopefully some more of my buddies will be joining soon. Um, but this is where I was last weekend, Animal Con. If you guys know anything about Animal Con, it's a fabulous um, event for YouTube creators who have channels that help educate the public about um about the animals any kind of anim animals there's a lot of reptile animals there's a lot of like kangaroos and capybara and snakes and um ostriches and prairie dogs and goldfish and all these things so what's really cool is that i have been able to um, talk to these people who are just amazing um, creators, and they have um, they've helped me to also be encouraged. I hope I encourage them. I have been praying for their channels, and you know what? I cannot find the photo that was on my phone. How am I going to paint this without it? So. Um, hang on 10 seconds. Let me see if I can find it. Um, it's not popping up on my MacBook, which is probably because it hasn't synced because of the whole not being connected, which is really frustrating. So let me see if I can. Um, and I will, I know. Thank you. You guys, I am still so amateur at this. I don't even know. So let me see. Um, so I am going to transition this to me so that you can see that I'm doing stuff on my phone. Um, so I'm going to disconnect this one and I will reconnect when I find the photo. i got to airdrop it to my MacBook so I can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to paint. I go by reference photos. I need a reference photo. Um, I'm not sure about how you guys like to paint, but for me, I like to um, sketch it out and use that as... Um, Oh, I received it. Yes. Let's see. 
options open that's all I need I just need it opened thank you okay so now that I've got it on my MacBook I'm going to turn off my phone and hopefully it will reconnect um hey someone just sent it to me thank you so much was that you Christy thank you um, I do have it on my phone I just didn't have it on my MacBook and since my phone is recording I can't look at my phone so I have to have it on my Mac um but now that I do I can let's see um for some reason now this is not working let's try and see why it's not you know technology it's great when it works am I right or am I right <laughs> anyways so uh, let me see if I can get my um, phone to work at least you guys can hear me sometimes I have um, problems with the audio and I don't even know it until like later and I listen to it later and it's like no audio so let me see how I can connect this phone again why is it not doing it let me see we're gonna try and reconnect to the phone um let's see if we can find it and nope that's not it all right so tell me um what have you been working on christy i know you showed me a picture of the um of your um, coastline with the ocean that was so gorgeous how did you end up doing that that was really beautiful did you use a tutorial or did you just um wing it from a photo let me see um video capture device that's what i need and i need the iphone where is my iphone what is it facetime i have no idea no that's not it oh maybe it's not on the same wi-fi let me check and see what i'm on you're right, I'm not on the same Wi-Fi. Maybe now it'll find it. Let me see, let me see. Cancel that. And add and capture. And it should pop up iPhone, but it's not for some reason. And I'm going to have this going too good. I may, what did Christy say? My friend was scrapbooking Hawaii and she sent me the photo to paint. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, was she over there where Maui was? I hope not over there. Um, Hawaii is so beautiful. I went there in my 20s and again, like the last time I was there, I think was 1999. So that was a long time ago, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful state with so many beautiful waterfalls. I love painting waterfalls. Um, so let me see. Why are you not working for me? You're very bad. Very bad indeed. Let me see. Media source? I thought it was video capture device. Mm, we can try media source again. Um, browse and maybe I can go I thought don't know if that works no that's not it and we'll try it one more time to do to do the video and gotta be the iPhone but it's not finding it hmm. 
And of course, you know what? I hate to even do this. You, I found the picture. That The picture is on my MacBook. But I had to turn off my phone to do that. And now my phone won't rejoin the stream. My phone is being a pain now. Um, let's see if we can do something else. No, I got the, I got the picture. Um, that's not the problem. The problem now is the phone. The phone is not working. Um, so, but I can show you the picture and how I have been able to do that successfully see look at that I can show you the picture of the giraffe I can show you uh, that but for some reason uh, my overhead is not working which means you can't see me paint which is very bad very very bad when that happens um, but for some reason, it's it's doing everything except that now. So for some reason, it's not doing that. Um, but now it's on the same Wi-Fi. Let me see. Okay, cancel that. And we need to have video. Video. Find me the video. Let me see if I type I don't know if that works. It's not working. It's not finding my phone. Why are you not finding it? Um short. Let's see if I can try and find it this way. Docs, maybe? Let me see. View, edit. Um, if only I were more able to do this. Oh, wait. It's working, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, look at just connected. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Y'all, he is so good. God is so good. Oh my gosh, he is so good. All right, I've got it now, y'all. But let me see. It's kind of sideways now. Let me try that. Y'all don't even know. I was like about to just give up and turn it all off. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. It's working. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for hanging with me. Um, yeah, it can be very, very stressful sometimes. So this technology, which, you know, my, my mug is saying inhale, exhale. That's what we got to do. Just inhale and exhale and let God do the heavy lifting. All right, let's get busy now that I've wasted pretty much 18 minutes now trying to figure out electronics. So, um, what I like to do when I first start a painting is a light wash. You know that. Um, most people do say start light to light to dark when you're working. So right now I'm just kind of mixing what was already here, some like toned down grayish yellow for our pretty little giraffes. And basically I'm just gonna go in and do, um, do just quick wash. So I can still see my pencil marks um, because we gotta be able to see those. And then I'm just gonna go down and um, Maybe lighten that just a little. And you can see that I'm like dipping in my water. And I've noticed in a couple videos of some other people that um, 
they'll have two paintbrushes. So they'll have one with just water. So they have one just for water and one to put the color, which if you want to um, blur it out, I'll show you how we're going to be doing that. I don't know if this drawing was perfect, but we're going to, we're going to make it work. Um, because sometimes when I'm doing this, it's going to change just ever so slightly as I'm doing it. Now see her, her legs are super white in the photo. Let me show you real quick. See how the legs are white, basically. So we don't want to paint those. We just want to keep them like that. And, and then the little baby has much more white in there. So I'm going to add this color just to make it a little toned down. And you can tell already that's a different shade than the mama. So you can see, and the face is going to be pretty white. I probably did it too dark on on my mama. Let me see if I can lighten that up. I love watercolor, you guys. I mean, it's so forgiving when you've done something and you're not really happy with it. You just start dabbing it out. And it makes it super pretty. Um, okay, so now we've got that basic um, shapes going in there um, with the wash. Now, what I can do next is get that more pretty orangey color with the brown. I'm just kind of mixing all these things together. I might need to have a more of a empty area for that. So I may want to keep that. I don't know. So I like burnt umber and burnt sienna. I don't think I have any raw umber or raw sienna. That's a lighter color of those. Um, but I'm just going to mix a couple different colors together and then I may end up with just a little bit of this. I should have just left that blue in there. The blue will, t will um, mute your oranges just like red will, um, green will mute your reds, things like that. Um, so now I'm going to go in and start doing some of these darker elements like the ears and their little horns. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, so let me see. I'm going to zoom in on my photo so I can see what I'm looking at. That's one thing when I'm looking at things that are on paper and I think I can zoom in I like go like this and it won't because it's on paper and it's like no nope, paper doesn't do that and I'm like no I need to see it closer it's probably time for me to get glasses for reading which I already have glasses for distance and I'm not real excited that I need those but it is what it is all right, I'm just trying to go the um, shape of the face right here. And I'm not too worried about doing the spots just yet. What I want to focus on is getting those um, shapes in place for the, for the head. And he's got some, she, she's got some pretty eyelashes in here. I'm going to go in there with my darker um, Payne's Gray that I like to use. Um, let's see, I can do some, maybe we will start doing some spots. And I know there's a bunch of little ones right in here. 
And that's one thing. I've been watching a, a couple videos online of painting giraffes, and they don't like to show this whole process of doing the spots for some reason. They'll show you painting its eyes, painting its nose, and ears, and I'm like, well, that's pretty much the same as all animals. What is it, Milo? My cat is looking at me through the window of my door, and he's like, I don't know what he wants. If he wants to go outside... Oh, and my cat was like, we had um, Jake have a friend over, and that friend did not shut the screen door all the way, so my cats got out and were roaming, roaming the world, roaming the neighborhood, and... um. So, yeah, I, I lost my cats for a little bit. And it was kind of scary, but I knew, just praying about it, that it, that it would be okay. Um, so this is really cool. I'm just making these little, um, spots. And I really wish I hadn't had so much issues this morning would have been making me less less stressed out but it is what it is now let me see um oh it's actually looking pretty good as i look at it from a, the overshot um it's looking pretty good so let me go back to my picture and i'm gonna get this dipped in here a little bit and I can tell already in parts of the um, parts of this photo that her um, spots get darker in spots her spots get darker so they're not uniform and that's the thing that I, I try and help my students in person to realize that um, not everything is symmetrical. I think as humans, we want things to be fairly symmetrical. That seems to make it um, a nice and pleasing to our minds to have order. But in reality, if we're looking and painting what we see, we see that there's variations and the variations are what helps render our our photos to be more realistic and so definitely um, when you're painting something keep keep looking at it keep looking at your reference photo and don't give up just because it's a little harder See that crease right in there? I want to make sure I I don't go over it because that crease is where there's folds in her skin. And so it's not going to connect. Not like perfectly. Now up here, it's going to do, it's going to have a bigger one. Some of these spots are real big on her abdomen. And I hear my poor cat. He's just like, let me outside. Sorry, buddy, I'm busy. Um, and so there's not really a good sp spot right there, but like I said, no one's going to be able to know either what your reference photo was. So a lot of times when we stress over um, the accuracy of things, we're like, um, we have to remind ourselves that we don't need to be perfect. Um, we just need to capture kind of the feeling. And I, this is how I feel about being an artist as well, um, is that sometimes we just need to paint it for ourselves. And someone somewhere is going to love our art. But 
not everybody is going to love our art. I don't know if everybody loves my art. So when I was at Animal Con, I mean, I did get a lot of good feedback from everyone. And it was great to um, have that um, encouragement. And people just were like, you know, saying how talented I was. And I was like, well, it's all from God. Um, he's the one who gives me my talent. And, okay, over here I just want to mention how um, I'm painting these more at an angle and long and skinny because the rump is curving. And when there's a curvature, things kind of follow that. And also there's um, some lines right in here. So there's going to be something like right here and it stops right there. And then also in here. And again, these things, are, I don't know if I'm doing perfect, but, it, you know, at least they're not all just squares, symmetrical squares, because we don't want that. And this piece go up here. And this is weird because it has like a bunch of little pieces that are connecting spots that are connecting. There are some more down here, but I'd have to lighten it. So a little bit of a different color in here, and it kind of ends down here. And I like that look, even if it's not perfect, it's okay. And there's some more down in here. What I'm going to do when I'm done is go in with a nice bluish color to make the shadows. Um, so that will make it um, more three-dimensional. Keep moving that. To keep moving that. And so now these ones are starting to get more long and small. Long and small. Ooh, you know, painting a leopard would be very similar, I think, to this. With these little, little tinies. Um, that might be fun. And I probably should have just did one giraffe. This one might be for another time. I may not be able to get to the little baby in this video. Um... Let me see. And so down to about the knee is where we're going to take these little spots. And that's good right there. Um, and actually, as I zoom in in the picture, I see there's two babies, but I did not draw two babies. I'm just drawing the one baby. Um, let's go back over here and see. And so this is going to be darker in here, and this is going to be lighter in here. Even though there's some spots in there, it's okay. And this is going to end up being a lot darker, too. And there's also this kind of shadow in there. Um, and there's the folds in the skin, which I'm going to do a little bit of just to make sure I don't lose them. Um... And then maybe a little bit of my Payne's Gray mixed in here. And these are going to be darker. And those are looking kind of cool. And the little nose. And the eye, the eyelashes. And let's see. Let me check the chat, make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, so, oh, and then this tail is going to go nice and squiggly. And there are some little spots on the tail. Um, 
and there's some darker areas in here. I think that's more like the shadow. Um, and I'll get this to look more like the fur. The ear is definitely going to be darker. Get some more of that Payne's Gray. If you guys don't have Payne's Gray, get some because it's like you can mix it. I think I've done something where I've mixed blue and brown blues and browns together until I found a similar color. So you can do that. Um, it's a little puffs on the top of these horns are darker. Let's put those in. Oh, that looks cute. Super cute, huh? And it's coming right along. Um, the thing is, is that I like to move pretty fast. I'm not real good at being patient. So, but while something's drying, for this part I'm waiting for it to dry, what, what about going in and taking care of some of that sky? So, do I like this blue? I like this blue. I have to kind of get that mm, wet so it'll start um, getting that paint rehydrated. Um, I do sque squeeze out my tubes into this pan. Um, so I do have my professional paints that I use that I squeeze in there and they dry, but you just have to reconstitute it. So now I'm going to do some of this. I'm just going to Follow the line that I made for the mountains. And I don't know, do I want to make that more like clouds? Because I don't think the photo I have has clouds. But it doesn't really matter. Sometimes we just want to have some fun. Throw some color and not be too accurate with what the photo shows us. I'll just show you guys the photo again so you can see kind of how the sky is like this kind of grayish blue. But what I want to do is make it more interesting and how it be like that. Also making my mountains a little bigger. Um, what we can do also is make the clouds by dabbing. And another, another cool thing is you want to add just a little bit of gray, maybe. That was probably too much gray. But I can remove it. There is like, sometimes a, a purple will look pretty in there. Yeah, that purple is kind of prettier. And, you know, sometimes you just let it Guide, let the Holy Spirit guide you. I'm all about that. Letting the Holy Spirit guide you. Sometimes my clouds end up being the showstopper. They're the ones that I think sometimes my skies look really awesome. I add a little bit more blue back into there. But I'm telling you, look at this. I had this all like soaking wet and now it's dried up. Which means... Humidity is kind of low, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's see. Just let the water do its thing. Just let the paint do its thing. That's kind of pretty. So, now that my giraffe's kind of, I think, getting, getting to be a little dry in some places, I can go in there and start adding more detail. So I'll need a smaller brush. It's always good to have different size brushes. Um, I use this one primarily for sky, but I have painted a lot with just this size, which this one I got from Michael's. There was a set of cheap watercolor paints that I really highly recommend if you're starting out. 
Um, these I had a set of four, and these were my more expensive ones. They're the black, um, the sil black silver, black velvet silver edition. Um, these are travel ones, so they come apart. You can see. So basically, it's great if you travel a lot and you want to protect that. And I do kind of do that, but um, you don't have to get this edition. You can get the one that's not a travel edition. It's probably less expensive. But right now I'm gonna use this one and unfortunately all the printing came off. So I don't even know what size this is, but I'm gonna assume it's either a six or a four. And we're gonna just make a mix for, um, I'm gonna get some of the brown. I think this is the burnt umber to be honest that could be the burnt sienna burnt umber and Payne's gray makes this really pretty gray pretty dark gray um Payne's gray is kind of like a bluish tint gray so um but sometimes let's see we're gonna do those eyelashes um and it's kind of going up there. And there's a little bit of a shadow there. A little bit of a shadow there. Um, if you just take time to really observe what your photograph has in it, you'll be able to see a lot more. Um, and that's just what you want to you want to follow you want to follow what's going on in in your photo because that will tell you if you're getting it accurate or not and you know I did my drawing as accurate as I could there's a lot of people out there that end up giving their um they give their um what do you call these things? Sketches to download for free, which I think is amazing. Paul Clark, he's one of those who gives out those things for free on his website. And maybe someday I'll be able to attend one of his classes in person. He is across the pond, as they like to say, over in the UK. So, but I think he's planning to come to the US. So fingers crossed that will happen. Let me see. I'm going to lighten this, but not too, too much. And it, there's like a dark, dark little bump right here on the eye. Like maybe it's a type of little eyebrow. I don't know. But I feel like that's just too dark up here. So I'm going to erase. I'm going to lift it up. Um, I think there's a lot of blue in here that is kind of not showing up right now because I'm, I don't know, doing this instead. And I'm going to add some underneath here to the chin and the mouth. There's like a bottom part of its mouth. And then, of course, this part's going to be darker. So I'm going to pick up some more color and go over here. And there's like a bump for that other nostril that I guess I didn't really render that with my with my pencil too good. But it is good to go back and be able to do that now. And oh, I'm hearing the animals do stuff. Why they gotta be so bad? Why? And then, you know, I worry to death about them when they run away. But then, when they're here and they're being bad, I'm like, ugh. So now I'm following around the nostril and I'm trying to make this little part, which is a little bit darker. Um, there's definitely some darker spots here that are kind of going with the jawline. Um, but remember, our mind's going to fill in a lot of this. So we don't have to do as much as we think we have to. 
Yeah, that's what's so cool about our, our brains is they can it can fill a lot of this in. So I see them. I see my cat walking past the window. All right. Now what I want to do, because I feel like this is too dark, I want to like wet my brush, clean it, and then just slip that out. Do you see how easy? And I feel like some of that is too dark as well. So I'm going to lift it up. And I feel like the color needs to be a little bit more orangey. So maybe I'll add this and this together. Get that, get that kind of orangey color back. Um, again, no one's going to really know from your um, finished painting if you got it accurately rendered to what the photograph is but so far I'm liking that um hey Linda Ball it's good to see you glad you could join today you missed all the drama of me trying to figure out this live stream so <laughs> <clears throat> oh thank you for the hearts I love the hearts you know um hold on I gotta get some honey <clears throat> so um, you know how, like, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so for these live videos, I've noticed that when I'm watching a live, I don't click the like on the, um, on the YouTube because you kind of have to click out of the chat to do that. But if you do it, I think it helps to promote the, the live to other people. Like the algorithm's like, hey, they like this. So maybe... Maybe we should push it to more people. And you know me, I just want to encourage more people to be um, expressing their artistic abilities and however they want to and just enjoy the process. This is, for me, the process is cool. And like interacting with you all, of course. Um, but I definitely, I love painting. It's such a great outlet for reducing stress except for when you're live streaming and that's not working <laughs> um but we got this now so oh thank you linda for always liking that is really good i do forget so i love it when someone in the chat like i'm watching if you guys don't watch him um his name is leron in skalski i'm really gonna butcher that last name but you can look him up he is doing lives usually on Thursdays but I think he goes a couple maybe a couple lives a week or he does videos I'm not really sure but he does have um you know some really good people on his um on his um chat that reminds people to like it and that's when I do but then trying to get back <laughs> To the chat is another thing. Hey, how's the um, sound? I, I've just noticed that I have two audios. So I'm not really sure if it's doing some kind of weird weird thing to y'all. I can just turn that one off for now. Maybe if that sounds better. Because I don't want it to be reverberating or doing any kind of weird sounds. Um... So look at how pretty my little um, giraffes are doing. And now I want to go in and do some more background because I love, I love doing the whole scene. I know there's some people out there, they just paint the animal with just a white background. And that's really great. Everybody has a different thing. Oh, thank you, Linda. Sounds good. Perfect. Um, so yeah, everybody has their own style. Like some people can go in and just outline everything with a pen, like there's pen and wash. Um, that's really a great technique. Um, I'm just going to use this green that's already on here. I don't know why waste, right? So just swiggle it all together. Um, let me see. What part is going to be green? I think what we're just going to do in here. So these are some bush trees. They're little bushy trees. Um... I put too much green into the little guy, but I will fix that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Um. Oh, 
little tiny thing in there and got rid of that. All right, so um, what else is going on? Um, I have a couple commissions I'm working on um, from people who I met at Animal Animal Con. It was so amazing, y'all. I just want to tell you a little bit about it because of um, not being sure I wanted to do something this big and and having um, it be three days. Oh, you're going to change your phone and watch on TV so you can't chat anymore. Okay. But thank you for saying it looks so cute, too. Um, yes, I love giraffes. They're just a great animal. Did you know that their hearts weigh 23 pounds? Um, and that they have t the mechanisms for pumping blood um, up their necks is like basically miraculous like there's no other creature that has to do that um and so the fact that they need so much blood to their brains um to survive is one thing and then if they're leaning over to drink water that same mechanism that pumps the blood into their brains could kill them if it keeps pumping too much blood while their head is down like it would explode I guess and so basically um there's a there's some kind of um safety valve or something that prevents that from happening so it's kind of cool that God designed the giraffe to be this way um another cool fact about giraffes um is that they're very peaceful and they live amongst other animals. So they are, um, they're always, um, keeping the peace with these other animals. And that's pretty cool that they're, um, look at that green and purple together. What color is that? That's so pretty. I have no idea, but we're going to make the mountains that color. That's what color the mountains are. Purple mountains. And, oh, I used washi tape today because I couldn't find my tape. I had all kinds of issues today. It's all right, though. It's okay. Um, so I'm going to take some time to be careful around here. I don't want it to go right into their ears and mess that up. So... But yeah, meeting so many people at Animal Con, meeting all my favorite creators who have um, channels. And I just want you all to keep um, Brian. He's got a channel, and I'll put it in the link when I go back and um, edit the description of this video. But pray for him because he's got... Uh, what kind of cancer does he have? Um, it's the same one that my girl's grandma had. Um, pancreatic, which is, you know, I, I just, it's a, it's, they always say that's like the worst one I think to get, but God is great. God can do all things. He can heal all things. And Brian's the one who put on Animal Con. So you just look up some videos on Animal Con. You'll see what a sweet, precious man he is. And what he's building, he's creating um, an aquarium that will um, educate public on animals. And he just has a super um, kind heart for, for animals and for people. If you ever watch his videos, he talks about how much he loves people. And to me, that is what we're all called to do as Christians is to love one another. And it's because Jesus loved us, right? And... Um, I try to reinforce that in my own house is like, hey, yes, so-and-so may be bullying you at school or so-and-so may be mean, but guess what? We're called to love them and pray for them. Um, so that's a super hard thing to do, but as Christians, we're supposed to do that. Um, and... Ooh, it's a hard one though, I can tell you. 
But there's days when even just for me, and you know how much I love people. <laughs> but I really, I do, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about what is, um, what is going to be the reason that, um, Jesus says to some Christians when they are there at the wedding feast, you know, Lord, Lord. And he says, depart from me. I never knew you. Like, why? Why is he going to say that to some people? Because that's always worried me. <clears throat> but I think the reason that it'll be like that is not because they haven't been kind to people or nice to people or live by the law or live by the you know, Ten Commandments. I think it's going to be more of why they were kind or why they lived by the Ten Commandments. And so I was thinking about this when I was driving the other day and I was obeying the speed limit. And I'll tell you, I haven't always obeyed the speed limit. Ask any of my friends. I had myself a Mustang convertible 5.0 and I sped around and did all kinds of fun stuff in my little convertible. But um, the reason that I started thinking about this now and that I was obeying the speed limit, is it because I don't want to get a ticket? Is that the reason I obey? Because I'll be honest, there's times when I'm like, ooh, there's a cop, I don't want to get a ticket. So I avoid speeding when I know there's a speed trap or something. Um, but here's the problem with obeying the law so that I don't get a speeding ticket that is not thinking about others that's thinking about myself and how and how it affects me so if you're obeying the ten commandments because you want to get into heaven that's about you and um so i'm wondering if it's a heart thing like where is your heart when when you're helping someone in need or where's your heart when you are um, giving to the poor where is your heart are you doing this because it's getting points for you so that you'll get into heaven is it um, is it something that that looks good like your resume like you want to beef up a resume and be like oh yeah I did this volunteer I did this extracurricular activities I graduated from this school uh, I had this GPA or is it GPA um or SAT score things like that um there's a lot of things you can do to make your resume look good right and that's great for jobs because you do want to have a nice job and you do want to have, um, you do want to have a more income by getting a good job. But here's the thing when, when it comes to heaven, it's not about your resume. It's not about whether or not you're going to have, you know, all the, all the things checked. What's going to be important is why, why you did it. Um, so lately, because I've been obeying speed limits and stuff, I've been thinking about that. I'm like, why am I doing that? Why? I know in the past why, but lately I've been thinking about how it affects other drivers. And, um, for me to speed past people and be in a rush to get where I want to go, does that seem like... Um, like I'm being a good driver because, you know, myself or for other people. And I think I realized that a lot of our laws are to keep, keep everybody safe. Sometimes we don't like these rules in place because we feel like they're, they're dumb rules and that we don't need them. Um. But if you think about it, there's a lot of people out there who don't follow the rules. But if we are, we'll be um, able to keep the roads safe for everyone if we follow them. So 
So it kind of been a change of heart for me to do to do the um the not so speeding around. So now if you catch me speeding, it's an accident. <laughs> but seriously, I've been trying to um maintain a better um a better out attitude of driving and not be all about myself and it's more because I want others to be safe too um let's see we got to get some grass going on this thingy and it's 11 but I did start late so we can go a little past 11 um but does that make sense I don't know and like so if you're a Christian and you're you're doing everything that you think that Christians do um to get into heaven it's like is that because you love people or is that because you love yourself and I do think we're gonna have to account for that when we get there and sometimes sometimes we just need to remind ourselves look at that too many spots on my little baby but I do like splatters because they look kind of pretty Um, so yeah, that's my, my little pep talk. I don't know. I feel like, I hope it's not a downer to you guys because that's not what I want. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, am I not a good person because I think about myself first? No, it's not about being good or bad because we're all bad, really. We all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. But he forgives us. And that was what was so cool at church yesterday. It was about forgiveness for the little kiddos. And um, I was just trying to help them to understand that even when, you know, their brother or sister is mean to them or they're mean to their brother or sister, it's not the end. And that um, God has a plan that includes forgiveness and so I know, oh, how many legs do I give this little creature? Oh, because the mama's legs are there. I'm like, oh, there's like 10 legs right here. So I don't know if I'm doing this good. I may have to go back in with some more. But the legs are definitely white. So I don't know. I'm just letting color go wherever. Because that's like the shadowy shadowy things in there I'm adding color and see this is what's fun to me just like kind of throwing throwing paint on there and seeing what what it does and if it doesn't look good we'll put it in the trash but I don't ever do that I like my paintings so I like to keep them and if if I have to um I've been getting into mixed media which would be fun if you just want to um like cut up something you've already painted maybe that would be cool oh it's looking real I think it looks pretty good even though I didn't get around to the little baby yet um but let's do the shadow real quick on the mama because that's what's gonna make our mama look good is having some shadow let's see I gotta look at the picture um let's see Okay, so now I've got her shadows, and I'm going to go in here and add a shadow in there. That's up against a baby right there. So, and then there is this long kind of shadow down the neck. And then it's going to go right here too. But it's kind of bleeding into that green, the green grass. But, and see, I'm making very careful observation right now as to where the baby giraffe's neck is in that shadow. Um, I'm going to put a little bit. Hey, Marianne just texted me and she says she's looking forward to seeing us at coffee. So, 
I'm looking forward to seeing her. I'm glad that the hurricane that went all the way to Nova Scotia didn't do too much to her property there. Just some waves, I think, and a little bit of wind. Um, let's see. I'm going to put a little shadow in here. A little shadow in behind here. And under the belly. And right behind this leg in the belly. And you guys could use a smaller brush. I'm using this very big brush, which means I have to have a lot more control. And I'm just doing these shadows real simple. And it's going to be all the way down this leg. And all the way down this leg. And I don't know where this leg is, to be honest. I think it's right here. And right behind here, oops, this just kind of bleeds out a little bit. It's okay. And then I'm going to put some in here. And a little bit on the tail right here. And what I'm going to do next is wet this brush and kind of feather that out because I don't like harsh, I like it looking too harsh, the lines. I want them to be more soft. So just bl blurring them out a little bit. And that makes them look a little bit more natural. And this also needs to have some some bleeding out there. And just a little bit under there. So it just kind of makes it pop a little bit and gives it that that definite um, look behind it. And then this, because it kind of bled into my green. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. It's okay that it did. I kind of like it. It kind of looks pretty. Um, but I may have to go back in there and do something. Um, so now I'm looking at it, and that's looking really pretty. Let me see. Um, yeah, that gave it like some three dimension right there. This ended up having something going on that I don't really want, but that's okay. Clean that up a little bit, and then, um, so yeah, she's got she's got some definition now on her belly and her neck and her back legs. Um, she needs some shadow on her legs that are under the baby. So I'm gonna use that same color, and we're gonna add some nice shadow right in there. And some nice shadow right in there. And it's a little bit more shadow here. I'm going to bleed that out just a little bit. And I may end up going back in there with, I don't know if I'll use some white or what. This should have been more white in here. And sometimes you're gonna have to use your your white your white um, acrylic paint or your white um, there's some other kind of stuff I use um, ink, but you can use um, white gouache, white ink. You can use a white gel pen. These are great, especially if you have a cat that needs whiskers, or if you want that little glint in the eye, you can just use the tip of this. Um, but this is looking looking pretty good, I think. Um, I'll post a picture of all of it finished, um, but for right now, I think. 
don't think I can do much more, to be honest, um, without, um, I'm seeing like, as I zoom in on the baby, you can only really see this one leg in the back. So they must be pretty much, I can kind of tell part of this is the back leg and part is the front leg. And then this here, and there's another leg coming down here. So I'll have to probably define those a little bit. Um, but these legs turned out okay for the mama. And I did, I did want to keep these more white, and I feel like I put too much paint. But again, if I just darken these areas, those will pop. So it'll work out. And there's some dark in here for the belly love I love how it turns out you know like you, you start with a blank page and it just turns into this really pretty um, this really pretty painting that people like oh I, what happened at what happened at animal con that I was surprised it was both of my fox paintings um they sold so I'm gonna have to start um, Painting. Did I accidentally hit stop? I don't think I did yet. No. So, um, but that's my photo. That's the painting so far. It's looking pretty good. It's getting there. It's not as orange, but I, I don't worry too, too much about that. Um, so basically I just end up um, if I wanted to, I could go back in with a wash of like an, uh, a more orangey color paint and then put that in, um, the spots to make them stand out a little bit more if I want to, but I don't know. We'll see at the end if I want to do that or not. Um, but what I wanted to read to y'all, um, if you don't mind if I read this to you, but, um, basically what I wanted to read was Galatians 610, which is, um, I like ESV versions, but for some reason this time I like the NIV version. And it says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. So I see a lot of good people out there doing good things. And I really want to encourage those people because I think it's important to help all people and to love all people just like Jesus loves all of us and he didn't just die for me he died for you he died for everybody he died for the whole world to know him and uh, it's not a have to it's a get to we have a choice so I hope that you all enjoyed today's painting um, again I will post some pictures after I finish the little baby and um, we'll see you next Monday Mm. Love you guys. Take care.